has issued an emergency declaration closing all city offices. This comes amid a possible historic blizzard, as we mentioned, expected to hit our area. An already stretched thin road crew has shut down lanes and restricted people from parking on streets. Valley News Team's Joshua Pagero joins us live now with more from the Public Works Department. Joshua? Andrew, we're outside Fargo Public Works Department as crews are preparing to hit the streets. We just saw uh, bulldozers getting serviced as well as some of the heavy equipment coming through the fill up on gas. Um, right now outside, as Hutch said, there seems to be some sleet that's falling and, and freezing rain, but we haven't got that snow yet. Uh, but the brunt of the storm isn't expected to hit us until tonight. And I'm joined live with the Fargo Public Works uh, Supervisor Lee Anderson. Lee, what can you tell us? Um, how are you going to tackle this storm tonight? Well, the, you know, the weather, the, the conditions are going to dictate what our priorities are. If it comes as freezing rain, rain, snow will dictate what our priorities are. If it's rain, obviously our storm sewer inlet drains that are covered with snow and the ponding water that's currently on the streets, we're trying to address that as quick as possible, trying to deal with those. That will probably be a priority if it's rain. If it's freezing rain... Obviously, we'll have to have sanders and and salting equipment out to make travel as safe as possible. If it's snow, we'll be we'll be in a plowing event. So there might be a little transition between all of that, but uh, we'll we'll do what it takes and uh, we'll try and take care of uh, business as as we need to. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to be again live here in the five just to give you an update and the latest information regarding this possible historic blizzard. And, and Mr. Anderson will also join us live in 530 in order to give some tips on what you can do to make the to make life easier uh, for some of the road crew staff out there going to be uh, they're going to be plowing. So I'm going to send it right back to you live in the studio uh, reporting live. Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. All right. Thank you, Joshua. We'll check back in with you in a few minutes, as you mentioned. And with folks,